Hi, I'm Stuart and welcome to Sirenet Television. I am joined down here in the Sirenet showroom with our very famous... Chris. Oh. And we're here to talk about a product from Federal Signal. It is actually the Federal Signal Valor light bar. It's been mounted on the roof of this Audi A3 and we're going to be taking a look at the light bar itself in question. A couple of things about the Valor family of light bars. They're available in a 51 or 44 inch width. So again, depending on the vehicle that you may have, the 51 inch is obviously for larger vehicles and the 44 inch fits very nicely on a vehicle of this size or other vehicles of that configuration throughout the US or also of course around the world, 44 inch particularly popular in Europe. Now, let's go in and take a look at the bar. A couple of things about the bar. It uses the Solaris technology, which is the term that Federal Signal uses in relation to their reflector. So it has a Solaris style reflector in it. It's a non-linear light bar. And what I mean by that is conventional light bars are normally straight across. The V series, I'm going to use that term, hopefully they don't upset anybody at Federal Signal, but the V series format has been around for many years with the Federal Signal family of product and the Valor is part of that family. So in other words you have both a linear concept to this bar and of course you have a V-shaped concept to this light bar as well. Now again the Solaris reflectors are mounted inside the actual bar itself and they're going in this case on the corners right across out to the center and the same on the other side and we'll show you in a minute they're also on the back as well. The total height here is about two inches height wise with respect to this particular bar Now that again does not include the mounting feet so again you can kind of get the low profile aspect of this light bar well, solid built by the gang over at Federal Signal. Chris is going to show us some of the color options that are available in this bar. This bar essentially has... Two colors. Two colors. And thank you, Stuart, by the way. Oh, you're very welcome. With that, you can take your warning bar and turn it into an illumination bar. So with that, go ahead, turn it on for you here. Give you a nice blast of lighting here. Go ahead and set the controller to position one. As you can see, nice and bright, blue on the passenger, red on the driver. I can even then change it into a secondary pattern mode. So a nice thing with the LED Valor bar here is it offers multiple flash patterns. So several different rocker switches or your progressive switch can key it up to do different modes. Another nice function for the front of the bar is the white scene override. So typically you just have your takedown function and your alley light function. Kind of limits the white illumination of the bar itself. Let me go ahead and key this down so you can get a better look there. So you can see a set of takedowns, forward facing, alleys left and right. So the alleys are over obviously left and right as you just yes, said. Yes, exactly. And sure, you got yes. your takedowns here. Yep. yep. Love to so. interrupt Chris when he's in a flow of things. But that's okay. And speaking of flow of things, should this not be enough white for you on the scene, you can go ahead and activate an additional override function for the front of the bar. It's not doing anything right now, and that is the reason behind the fact that when the bar is keyed up, you can activate a white flash function, but you can also activate a white override function. So you have your takedowns and alleys, and then you can steady burn the whole front of the bar. And take out your retina. Exactly. As you can see, very nice, very bright. Let me go ahead and shut that down quickly. So warning mode, full override to scene light mode. Now again, this light bar, of course, will come in a variety of different safety colors. I'm going to go to the back of the bar in a second. But red and blue, all red, all blue. And as Chris mentioned with the takedowns, they're obviously white. And the additional white within the Solaris family is an option as well. In fact, Spectralux LED technology is also incorporated in this particular bar. Also incorporated is the patented Federal Signal ROC, which is reliable onboard circuitry. Got that right. Now, let's go quickly to the back of the bar. And as we run down this way, we'll get Wade, our mobile cameraman, to swing in. So now again, you can see here, where are you, Wade? Are you there? <laughs> You've got your red and blues firing away. Now the dead 
centerpiece area is an additional color, which in fact is also red and <laughs> blue. Chris is tricking me here. And now we've gone to red and blue, and now we have amber. Sorry, my throw over. Okay, so. You interrupt me and I like to trick you. It works great. Thank you. Now, you, you also have a TA function in the bar as well. That's correct. Now, would this not necessarily mean that you've got red and blue, white and amber? Would that like make this a tricolor configuration? Well, you have three colors, so I guess technically with that, you have three tri -colors. colors. So, tricolor, oh. there you go. There you go. So, again, you can work with us at Sarnet in relation to the color configuration that you want to have for this particular light bar. Now, it's not an inexpensive bar, so let's be very clear about that. But it's definitely something that's interesting and exciting. It's available here on Sirenet, along with all of the technical specifications as well. So for myself, Stuart, and this young man over here, Chris, thanks for watching Sirenet Television.